channel. If you're new, I'm Saize. If not, welcome back. Um, today I want to get into what happened over the last 24 to 48 hours with this whole Nick Cannon thing and um, what rubbed me the wrong way um, as far as Angela Yee goes because I can't stand her. First of all, Angela Yee, every time she has a chance to um, to like jump on the bandwagon, instead of taking the initiative, she jumps on the bandwagon. Um, just like the time when I know y'all remember when she went at K Michelle on the breakfast the Breakfast Club and how that all turned out. Um, she could have came to her aid and said she she jumped on a bandwagon and made it more of a thing of that's a you problem and not a me problem. But we all know as women that situations happen. Um but I don't I don't think there's ever been a time where I've been in a room and women actually stink up a room. Like that's crazy. Um and it's funny how they all jumped on the bandwagon and just be like, oh, I'm in the 20%. I'm in the 20%. It's a it's a little pick me ish, if you will. If you ask me, it was a little pick me ish. She could have took that chance to actually educate on how women's hygiene go versus jumping on the bandwagon and saying, yeah, somebody called me and said um, one time they was having sex with somebody and the room smelled like a sewer. Let's start here. If you're a female and you stink up a room like that and you smell like sewers, sewerage, whatever, whatever you want to say, sewer. If your shit is smelling like sewer, it's obvious it's a problem. There should never be a time when you smell horrible like that. You smell that bad. If you're having some type of issue with your hygiene, your pH, that means something's wrong, sis. So there should never be a, it should never be a time when you smell like that. That should start there. But I want to jump into this because um, I, I, I didn't like how she addressed it and how she handled it. Let's, let's see what she's talking about. We men, we talk about this all the time. Do y'all know when y'all stinking up the room? Like, <laughs> no, we did not. Did y'all hear what Nick Hannah says? Why he he he's always doing this? Says eighty percent of women uh, is stanky. You know what I'm saying? We uh, help with feminine hygiene. From who? From you? Girl, I don't know what's going on. Let's play. Um, I just want to say it may be the eighty percent that he's dealing with too. Um, I mean, if you you you're sleeping with that many people, you. First of all, if you you're sleeping with more than one um, partner, you got to think you're taking you're you're mixing up all your stuff with that person. Then you're going and sleeping with another person, mixing up all that stuff. Y'all are taking back different bacteria to each other. So of course, eventually, what's going to happen is with women, if you're sleeping around with, if you have a man that's sleeping around with different women, and he's jumping from one person to the next, of course. It's going to cause your your pH to go haywire. It's going to cause everything to go left. So, of course, you're going to end up having a smell. You have a smell. If you end up having a smell down there, that means you need to go see a doctor because obviously, as a woman, you're not supposed to. You're just not supposed to have a smell. It's just not supposed to smell at all. So, if you have discharging and color color discharge and all that other stuff, yellow, green, any of that. Yes, sis, you need to go see a doctor ASAP. Um, it shouldn't be a time where you're just out. Now, I, I've been out in a club or bars or whatever. And, um, you know, after people been dancing and drinking and partying all day, especially in the summertime, um, you can walk by a few women and, and, and smell them. But my thing is, if, if it's that bad, you probably shouldn't be outside while it's like that. You probably you probably should be going and getting yourself checked out. But as a grown woman, we're all grown. Um, I'm sure there's been times where Angela Yee has probably uh, had some type of yeast infection, a BV, whatever. As a grown woman, we done all came across these issues. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, the stink up a room. Yeah, Nick is crazy. The only way women are running around, he's around women that's running around stinking up a room is because they've been all meshing together. 
he done been taking it from here to there. And you know he got about 10 kids. So, yeah, he's jumping from place to place and bed to bed. That's the problem. Hey, that's, that's my... Magnificent. Uh, 20%. 20%. I think I'm toward the 2% because I definitely agree with 20. 20. 20. 20. It's a 20. I'm narrowing it down. Because because I'm at the top of the 20. Those are the key for me. be like, yo, spread out the like, shower thing is amazing. If I could say, I'm going to be a nice taste and everything. That's amazing, but that's not normal. Well, now, right there. Yeah. I can smell it. I can scroll around and it's going to be a nice smell, nice taste and everything. What, sis? It usually is no smell. It just shouldn't be a smell. So, yeah. All right. Let's continue. Let's see. I, we, men, we talk about this all the time. Do y'all know when y'all stinking up the room? Like, we'll see. I, I see present. Again, I'm going to say right there. There should never be a time when a woman is stinking up a room. But if you do have a smell going on, you should be aware of that. You should be aware of that. I'm sure um, if you, like I said, if you've ever caught anything, if you ever had any type of situation, you would know. Most, I mean, most women do go and get checked out often. That's just like, that's like normal. That's like a normal thing. But um, if you do have a smell, I mean, obviously, like I said, you shouldn't have one. So if you do, that means that something is going on. But as adults, we all know this. Like if you're having some type of hygiene issue, it's because that it's because your pH is off and something is wrong. So which means you also need to see a doctor once again. But as a grown ass man and grown ass women, they all in this room acting like the like they don't understand this shit. Which is what's frustrating to me. And then Nick, as a grown ass man, how many women you done been with? You got I'm seeing the amount of kids at this point. You should know this by now. This is this is the problem right here because um, it seems like grown adults grown adults don't know this shit. Like, come on. If like I said, if you have an odor, you you just need to be seen. Simple as that. But for it to like go left like this, yeah, no. Shouldn't be a whole room full of stinking women. That's crazy. But the thing because people stink up the women. Beautiful women, you be like, yo, who was you're you? You you got this guy I know called me told me he was having sex with a girl and the whole room smelled like sewage. But she be acting like she has no idea. I'm like, not be the only one that smells it. Now, see, this could have been an opportunity for Angela and you to step up to the plate this time. Because last time we had this conversation, or I ain't going to say wait because I wasn't there. But <laughs> the last time Angela and you had this conversation was with Kay Michelle in front of everybody on Breakfast Club. And I know y'all remember that. I'm going to pull that up real quick, too. Because I just want to um, touch on her because I feel like as a woman, she should understand this. Even if you, I mean, of course, you, you take care of yourself. Even if you don't have a smell per se yourself, which you shouldn't, but I'm just going to say she acts as though she does not know what this is about or what, like when she, when she brought up that with Kay Michelle, okay, if Kay Michelle had some type of odor going on, it was probably obviously from uh, some type of disease or an infection. She probably was having an infection or whatever at that time, whatever. The problem I have with Angela Yee is is that you're a grown ass woman. I mean, you're a grown ass woman. So you understand this shit too. And for you to put her on front street and any other woman on front street tells a lot about you. A lot of the times the women that do that be the main ones that Nick is talking about right now. The bitches that's thinking up the room. Um, the ones that want to throw everybody else under the bus, but don't want to talk about, you know, how this is a, a real thing. This is a real thing. Like, you know, women get yeast infections, they get BVs, you know, and that's like the the minimal shit. But imagine if it's like uh, a serious STD, like chlamydia, gonorrhea, uh, HIV, all that other shit, right? You got to think 
as a female, we have inside parts. So imagine if you if you have any type of like yellow discharge, green discharge, any of that shit going on, any smell, it is because you are experiencing an infection or a disease or something is off. Maybe your diet's off. That could throw your pH off too. Like, but this is a simple thing where it could be simply fixed if it's handled correctly. If you're going to the doctors, if you're taking care of yourself, if it's even made aware. It's like she took this opportunity to jump on the bus and add to the bandwagon instead of explaining to Nick that if it's something like this going on, she probably has some type of issue going on at the time. Now, granted, if you are having an issue, like I said, you should be aware of that. If you have a smell, you should be aware that you have a smell yourself and you need to get that handled before other people start smelling you. I mean, it's simple shit like that. But yeah, that's just, I don't know. It just rubbed me the wrong way because sh this ain't her first time. This ain't her first time, like, you know, kind of coming coming as if she's on the, the, the bandwagon with the men and not understanding the situation when you're a woman yourself, sis. Like, I don't get it. But all right. 80% of women that probably, that probably need assistance when it comes to female, female hygiene. I think it's from I give bed. families at home. I think it's from you, Nick, jumping from bed to bed and uh, pussy to pussy, whatever you want to call it. You're going in, going out, and you're not even using condoms. So, yeah, that that would explain why the women that you're sleeping with probably have a smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's talk about the woman that came out just recently. Uh, well, shit, we all heard about it just yesterday. I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but I was so tired, so I saved it for today. But we're going to talk about this because she came out and exposed that she has HIV. Well, now AIDS. It's blown into AIDS. Um, and now she was one of the women that, and I say this, I commend her for coming out because it takes a lot to come out and actually speak about what it is that you have going on personally like this, that's so personal to you, and um, to not receive the backlash because she received a lot of backlash from this. And I really don't think that's cool, only because she was brave enough to come out and, and really tell people what's going on in her personal life. It's very personal, um, and as a woman, I commend her because um, she's bringing awareness by telling people she's had HIV and expressing what's going on and how, how it's you know, how her life is going since then. Um, but she did say that she um, didn't go to the doctors often and that's how she didn't know because she wasn't really going to the doctors. Well, um, I'm kind of surprised at that because most, like I said, most women, usually if we experience something, we like, we'll run to the doctors. We rush to the doctors. But um, she wasn't, she wasn't checking herself out that much and this is a part of the issue. Now, um, I just want to bring awareness to that because I feel like if um, you are going through anything or you are experiencing stuff, it is in your best interest to help yourself, to protect yourself, to get yourself to a doctor if stuff is going on. Not only that, but it's um, it's best to just protect yourself from the get-go. You know, cover it up, use condoms, things like that. Nick has also expressed that he doesn't he doesn't feel the need or he doesn't. He doesn't deal with women that he doesn't think he needs to have a condom with. So, I mean, all of this mixed into one, this is probably why he's experiencing what he said he experienced, 80% of women. No, it may just be the 80% that you're dealing with. So let's go into that. Supermodel from IG that has been linked to Chris Brown and Nick Cannon have recently came out She's 25, named Gina. Um, she has the hot sauce, and she's telling her story. Um, she didn't realize she was infected with the sauce, and it was too late. She said when she found out, her body started wasting, and it turned to something horrible, and she cannot even walk, okay? And she's telling her story. Listen to this, y'all. This is something else. It's hard to stand. I don't know how long we've been here, but yeah, I've got here probably about 20 minutes before you. Ready? 
Three. Push through those legs. Come on, push, 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 push. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Push through those legs. Come on, do it. Push those legs. Stand away. Not bad. Not bad at all. Everyone keeps asking how I got. I didn't know I had. Um, I just got sick one day, started fainting, fevers. Then I got really weak and I was going to the doctors and no one knew what was wrong. Um, they just kept assuming cancer, uh, cervical cancer, lesions. And then I had some doctors saying, no, you're perfectly fine. Like there's nothing wrong with you. Um, but eventually uh, a doctor was like, did you know you have it? And I'm like, no, because I wasn't getting checked like I should have as much as I was supposed to. Um, so I didn't know. And I lost a lot of weight because I was in the hospital. I don't know what happened. And from losing all that weight, I lost mobility in my legs. So I can't walk or stand right now. But I do do my therapy every day and I do take my pills every day like I'm supposed to. I take five pills a day. No, I don't know who gave it to me. So, you know, I just found out recently. I didn't have, you know, they said if I didn't show up when I did, I would have died because my blood count was so low. You know, I was eating blood bags. They was taking Okay, this is what I mean by, you know, being aware of what it is you're going through and things like that. I can't imagine, I can't say that um, she didn't know that all this was going on. I mean, I'm sure she didn't know exactly what was going on with her body. But again, usually when you do have something going on, like a health issue like that, um, because it's the HIV, you have something like that going on. You would think that um, she would have had some type of symptoms or warning signs ahead of time. Um, Usually when you have any type of like STDs or, or a disease or something like that, um, that would cause your pH to be, be off. That would cause your vaginal pH to be off. So I would assume that she would have had some type of discharge or yeast infection or anything like that. Um, because when you Google it, and let me bring this up. I'm going to Google that so y'all can understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, what's the point? So HIV symptoms in women, flu-like symptoms. After a person contracts HIV, their immune system responds to the virus. Swollen lymph nodes. Swollen lymph nodes can be one of the earliest, earliest symptoms of HIV after those of an acute infection. Rapid weight loss, changes in mood, skin changes, menstrual changes, vaginal yeast infections, um, sore throat, mouth off ulcers, skin rashes, night sweats, muscle aches, um, other flu-like symptoms, infections and diseases, swollen with nose again. So, um, yeah, HIV and FDA, cold infection, vaginal discharge, itchiness, bleeding between periods. These are all symptoms, usually, if you got all that going on, you have some type of older property. Um, and I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I've been in medical for 15 years, but I'm not a doctor. But these are simple, like, little symptoms and signs that normally, if you have a smell, it's something going on normally. So. Let's see. All right, so having these infections, okay. Among women with HIV, the most common accompanying STDs are chlamydia, gonorrhea, trichomonas, I can't ever say this word right, y'all, trichomonas, um, and syphilis. Having these infections or even non-sexual transmitted ones like bacterial vaginosis can increase a woman's risk of getting HIV two to three times fold. 
Now, let's look at the symptoms. It says burning with urination, dysuria, which would be for chlamydia, gonorrhea, trick. Um, it doesn't say syphilis, but BV. Vaginal discharge, you'll have it with all those except for syphilis, it looks like. Vaginal itchiness, um, usually BV, and it says trick. Uh, bleeding between periods, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Pain with sex, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Fishy odor, strong fish-like odor, usually with trick and BV. Now, Angela Yee said something about um, the guy called her and said the room smelled like sewer and all this other stuff, right? Now, you end up with chlamydia or gonorrhea, usually that's what it is from, the smell, okay? So, for her to say all these things as if she doesn't know, maybe she's never had an STD in school, right? But, yeast infections and BV, those are like normal shit that women deal with, so you know what that is, come on. Don't act like you don't know. That's what kills me. Um, about women like that. She gotta act like she don't know. You're a woman yourself. You know what's going on. So, instead of explaining, she jumped on the bandwagon and tried to, once again, like she did with K. Michelle and bringing up her, her vaginal health and all that weird shit. Wasn't in a way to help her. It was in a way to embarrass her. So, um, I just wanted to jump on that and talk about that too. But, um, yeah, those are signs and symptoms that you have something going on. So, that's what I want to add about Nick's time. Bone samples, they were doing a lot because I was so weak. Still so weak. And I think I have wasting syndrome. I'm not anorexic. Oh, also, while we're on that point, those symptoms for HIV, the symptoms for HIV and AIDS victims are pretty similar to lupus. Um, rheumatoid arthritis and uh, leukemia, I believe. So it's kind of weird that Nick says he has uh, lupus because the the symptoms of HIV are like it's sometimes it's hard for them to even distinguish whether it's lupus or HIV at first when they like when you come in with those symptoms, those type of symptoms. If you look it up, you look up lupus, the symptoms of lupus. When you look up the symptoms of HIV, they're kind of, they run clo really close. So the symptoms he's experiencing are similar to that of HIV. Now, if he's been in contact with this woman and he even maybe gave it to her instead of her giving it to him, we don't, she doesn't, she doesn't really know where she got it from. But speaking of that, if it, you know, if he's been experiencing these symptoms for a while and he's talking about, he don't know when he's, he's going to go. So he's making all these kids and all this crazy stuff. He could be experiencing what she's experiencing right now, HIV. I'm not trying to put dirt on his name, but I mean, the symptoms are similar. Just saying. Just want to point that out. On purpose. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that answered a bunch of you guys' questions. I'm saying, Joe, I'm so sad. This beautiful young woman. You know, 25 years old, her name is Gina, they say, and she got that sauce. You know, she got that sauce. And uh, these men are giving these women this sauce so much. And um, I'm proud of her for speaking out. She seemed like she's in good spirit, as you guys will hear and can hear. All right, we'll go on to the next thing. But yeah, I commend her for coming out because she didn't have to do that. So now let's jump into this. I know y'all remember that from when K. Michelle was on the Breakfast Club. And Nano was saying she smelled, her cat smelled and all this other stuff. And Angela Yee, instead of taking the opportunity, like I said, to like explain why maybe even the situation was even happening, she jumps in and decides to bring it up on the breakfast club. The men didn't do it. Angela Yee decided to pull that out and put it out there for whatever reason. I, I, half the time I feel like the girl is, like I said, she's a pick me. She just wants to fit in and try and like, just, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I can't stand her, her, her character. It's just annoying to me. But um, let's jump into this. Hold on. I still got the burger, got everything on the side. But this is the most special gift I got for you. What is so it? I have a right home now? girl. No, I have a home girl. She says sell something called panty cake. Okay, what is it? Listen, okay, I want you to smell it first. Smell it. 
Now, you know how you be busy all day, right? Okay. Here's what you do when you get out of the shower, you put some on your fingers, and you put in you, not in you, but on, you know, all up in the crevices, and you know what I'm saying? So, you can go all day, right? You can have tight yeast infection jeans on. You can, you can go to the gym and, and not shower. And when you get home, it's going to smell like that after all day. I heard a few stories about K. Michelle. The stories that I heard about K. Michelle was that her box thing. Every year since 2014, Uncle Myrtle puts out a song summing up things that took place in hip hop that year. In 2014, Uncle Myrtle put out the 2014 wrap up, and in that song, he stated five dudes told him K. Michelle's coochie stink. I say shit that make niggas think. Five niggas told me K. Michelle pussy stink. Him and K. Michelle had a little beef about that, and then life went on. Fast forward two years later, Mano and Uncle Murder had an interview on The Breakfast Club, and Angela Yee decided it would be a good idea to bring up the smell of K. Michelle's coochie again. You did say something about K. Michelle. Oh, whoa! She got that thing. Y'all call no. it the K. Michelle. <laughs> Why would you say that? I, I know people that did certain things with her. Oh. Mano. Okay. Let's talk about that. Because you see Angela's face. You see Angela's face when she brought it up, right? It was like all for her entertainment and entertain the room. There's a bunch of men in the room, of course. That's in, uh, For whatever reason, that's entertainment for them. But why would you... She asked them, why would you say that? No, why would you bring it up? <laughs> like, you wanted to reiterate what he said about this girl's vagina. This ain't your vagina. Why are you worried about her vagina? On top of that, like you just you you wanted to bring it up to just get something started, get get that back out into motion. Like, why would you do that? Instead of like explaining and and and, and, and like taking a moment to actually, like I said, educate grown ass people on what the situation might have been. I'm not gonna speak for K Michelle because I don't know what her situation is, but I do know as a woman, if like I said, if your pH is off, it's a it's it's for a reason. Is that that's a warning sign that you need to take your ass to the doctor, okay? <laughs> because it should never be a, a, a sign where you're really off. I mean, we get our menstrual cycles monthly, that might throw you off. If you're eating the wrong shit, that might throw you off. If you're sleeping with multiple partners, that definitely is going to throw you off. And then, you know, whatever else in between. But like I said, if there's a smell going on and there's an issue, you just need to get it handled. It's just simple. You just don't do anything during that time. You don't uh, go out and be dancing all around and shaking your ass to, and, and causing the smell to be apparent. <laughs> go see a doctor first. Take your health serious and, just, and get your health in order first. Sis. Then you go out and you party and you do all that other stuff. But this, this yeah, let's jump back into this because this irritated my soul when I... When I heard her say it. Let me smell your finger. One, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I ain't going to say who, but it's a, putting out a mixtape with you. Know I mean? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to pass out. Did you have sex with K. Michelle? Who, wait, I, first of all, what? What is that? What kind of question is that? Like, I, I'm, no. Mayno. Yo, if Joe Burns just text me, he'll still eat it. <laughs> how they, how, how they say the box was, though? They just said it smelled of course, that sparked up issues again. So when K. Michelle went on to the Breakfast Club the following week, she confronted Angela Yee for being messy and bringing up the smell of her box. Now, we had uh, Mano and Uncle Murder up here too, K. Mm-hmm. And they were saying your vagina stink. You don't even know me, Uncle Murder. I didn't even know who, honestly, I didn't know who he was mm-hmm. until they said it was like, it was a song. And I was like, oh, okay, it's Soldier Boy stuff or whatever. And they always say a woman is a bitch. She's a hoe, this, that. So I really didn't take it in because it didn't affect my pay. So then um, when I found out who he was and I just, I was like, he gets so like excited and geared, you know, like riled up mm-hmm. when you ask him that. He like, I saw the interview. I was like, he's really like happy. He's never met me. I do know Mano. And I was kind of like, Mano, you're sitting there in that. Okay. So you I'm not going to get on. Mm-mm. Okay, no, okay. No, no. I didn't. I said I was going to. I was thinking, I know you and little Kim had some issues. It's all of this little... Cr- you know and I was saying? thinking that Mano be with, you know, even with you. You're a woman. And I think I've been very cool and very supportive of you. The interview was over and the credits were running. 
you brought that back up. And the thing about that is, I know you want ratings, but you are a woman. And no woman wants a body, and no woman wants nothing like that on them. So they wasn't even talking about that. You brought that back up. No, you so already I it back up and, I, and I mentioned what had happened. It didn't then, get brought back up. I seen it. You knew. You're close with Atlantic. Mm -hmm. You knew my album came out the next day. You didn't know what legs that boy was going to take. You get what I'm saying? But thank God people know me. And people actually was looking at those like, oh, them some cornballs. You ain't going to be Oprah like that. You're going to be somebody else. Ricky Lake come and gone. Because it's a time and a place. Because two women, you don't know at what point the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And you don't know that. So thank God my label was concerned on a Thursday that, oh my God, Kay's going to get on Twitter. She's going to act out. But I got different kind of checks and I can't do that. But I got PR at the label like... Oh, here we go. More beef, more drama, and we really want to focus on this music. But you didn't cause it this time, though. No, I just didn't say nothing. But you brought that up. Not him, not him. And at the end of the day, I ain't with you for that. So let's move on. Just a few days ago, Mano was on his podcast, Kitchen Talk, interviewing actor Jason Mitchell. During that interview, Mano brought up Kay Michelle and proceeded to talk about how bad her coochie smells. Popular female. Okay. Maybe maybe I'm gonna be single. I went <laughs> right, shoot to the hotel right. with this lady. Okay. Okay? And I, this is my first time and I said, damn, I wanna do this. Right. I've been watching her. I'm watching her. I wanna do this. She wanna do me. Okay. Okay, we get in there. Things is happening. She no matter of fact, she goes she, she goes into the to the shower. We had the Trump over there. What is the Trump Trump, Trump Soul, yeah. There used to be Trump Soul. Right, right. Trump supporter. Right. 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 And I'm saying to myself, like, you, you don't smell this? Out. She, she never said nothing. I never said nothing. But it was so crazy that I, that I was, it was playing tricks on my mind. Right. I said, look, she don't smell this shit. This is crazy. I'm in here losing my mind. I'm saying, well, maybe it's me. Who was it? Who was it? <laughs> I can't stop thinking of me. He called me. Because now I'm like, you got like, You know who it was, too? He called me like, yo, that's your sanitation. And I'm like, nah, bro. I'm not going for that. When are y'all going to do it? Here's the piss. Here's the piss. Go back in. Make sure you ain't bugging. Yeah, I had to go back in. Just to make sure. Why didn't you say something to her? See, you still stick with her. You still stick with her. No, it's not, it's not uh, her. Me, it's let, just in general. Me, like, me, why me. wouldn't you tell a woman that? It's not even about her. It's about the situation. Why let wouldn't me. you tell a woman that? Let me. Because let I'm going to tell you if your boss. Her nose, her nose is working like his let nose me, is working. Let me, say, let me say this then, since you asked me the question. <laughs> I was offended. I, did, I called him every step of the way. I didn't really have a heart to say nothing. I said, why the fuck is she on national TV with her shit smelling like that? I'm, what? I'm, I'm, this is me. Why are you hurting me like that? You're hurting me. Uh, he called me, said, yo, he called me said, yo, the sheep fanned it up. The, the sheep fanned up, and that shit just hit me. I said, damn, bro, not her. After that clip went viral, the Shave Room posted a few tweets that K. Michelle made. And guess who has something to say? Memphis. Memphis. So yeah, as y'all can see, I know y'all remember that. And um, this girl, I'm on somebody else's channel. So let me tell you, um, Bougie B with the T. Yeah, that's off her channel. So um, this is a, a dope little clip she put together. But I just wanted to uh, give her a shout out since we using her her commentary. And um, I don't want to use all her commentary because I don't want to be using up people's commentary and stuff like that. I just wanted to make a point off of that. But um.
you know, basically I wanted to pull that back up because um, Angela me, I don't know, Angela, Angela me, or I don't know, Chad, listen. Anyway, Angela Yee, she had the nerve, like I said, to jump on the bandwagon once again. Like you had opportunity to actually just bring awareness or whatever to other females, even some that maybe, maybe there's some females that grow up a little different. They didn't have their mother there or whatever that could tell them about certain situations like this. Like if you have some type of vaginal odor and things going on with your vaginal area, sis, you need to go see a doctor. This was X, Y, and Z, whatever. Um, but that could have been a good time to, to feel like bring awareness to that and like educate the next person on it. Even a grown ass man that don't understand that if you're sleeping with somebody and they got a vaginal odor going on, they're probably going through a, a pH. The, the pH is thrown off and it might be you, nigga. Like you sleeping with her, shit. You done probably ran around, slept with a, a couple different uh, females without a goddamn um, condom or protection. And now you're throwing her pH off. Yeah. So that's sort of what happens. I mean, but all you got to do is check yourself out, read, talk to your doctor. They will tell you these things. So if you're experiencing that, that's what's going on. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick recap on the last 24 hours, 48 hours of all the shit that's been going on in the in the media or whatever and add my little two cents. Um, I don't know. I might touch on... Uh, might touch on... Um, Jay the young man, but I don't know yet. But yeah, it's it's been confirmed that he's passed away. But we might touch on that later. But yeah, anyway, y'all, if you like this video and you're in here and you're watching my shit, you watching my shit, then you need to like this video. It only takes you but two seconds. Go like the video. Do me a favor and uh, help me with the algorithm. You know, like the like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I got more coming. Keep up with me. Again, this is Side J on the case with Side J. Um, on the case with the Wick Doctor Side J. So um, yeah, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you for watching and keeping up with me. If you're new, welcome. All right, so I'm out. Peace.